A. There are lots of people in the auditorium. B. The students are studying in the classroom. C. The audience is watching a movie. D. The people are applauding the performance. Picture number two. A. The man is writing a check. B. The student is making notes. C. The waiter is taking an order. D. The reporter is conducting an interview. Picture number three. A. The plane is landing. B. The plane is cruising. C. The plane is taxiing. D. The plane is taking off. Picture number four. A. The dumbbells are in the garage. B. The fitness club hasn't opened yet. C. The people are working out. D. The bicycles are on the road. Picture number five. A. The sun is high in the sky. B. The sun is obscured by clouds. C. The sun is setting. D. The sun is orange and round. Picture number six. A. The man is playing a guitar. B. The man is tuning a violin. C. The man is conducting a song. D. The man is rehearsing a play. Picture number seven. A. The elephant is exercising in the zoo. B. The elephant is running in the jungle. C. The elephant is performing at the circus. D. The elephant is training for a sport. Picture number eight. A. The people are at a vegetable stand. B. The man and woman are shopping for groceries. C. The woman is buying frozen meals. D. The man is pushing a shopping cart. Picture number nine. A. People are coming to the theater. B. The fans are cheering at a football game. C. The auditorium has aluminum benches. D. The stadium is empty right now. Picture number 10. A. The lake water is very clear. B. The river runs through the mountains. C. The ocean is blue and green. D. The pond is filled with algae. Part 2. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed on your screen and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and click on A, B, or C to mark your answer. Example. You will hear, Where did you last see Miss Montgomery? You will also hear, A. Yes, I can see it on the flat screen. B. It was about three weeks ago. C. At the First Street Coffee Shop. 
the best response to the question, Where did you last see Miss Montgomery? is choice C, at the First Street Coffee Shop. So C is the correct answer. You should click on C. Part 3. You will hear several conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and click answer A, B, C, or D. The conversations will not be printed on your screen and will be spoken only one time. How many languages do you speak? A. English, Spanish, and French. B. I'm fluent in Russian. C. Two. You're trilingual, aren't you? A. No, I'm not. I'm bilingual. B. That's right, I was. C. Yes, you are. What is your weight? A. I can't wait. I'm in a hurry. B. 73 inches. C. 185 pounds. Just a minute. Can I put you on hold? A. No, I can't. B. That's fine. C. Hold on. Where were you raised? A. At New York. B. In Detroit. C. Last year. Are you a Boston native? A. No, I'm from Pittsburgh. B. Yes, I love Boston. C. I sure was. When will the new policy take effect? A. In the downtown office. B. At July 17th. C. On the first of next month. Our new general manager will arrive from Korea next week. A. I look forward to meeting him. B. I've been to Korea. C. Yes, it's east of Japan. Which kind of bread do you prefer? A. Whole wheat, please. B. She's very kind. C. I don't like rye bread. Who ordered the pepperoni pizza for lunch? A. I'll have a cheese pizza. B. Thomas did. C. Let's eat at noon. Do you mind my asking if you're single? A. Yes, I'm single. B. I won't mind it. C. No, not at all. What took you so long? A. About two hours. B. I was stuck in traffic. C. It's much shorter. How much money do you make? A. Roughly $50,000 a year. B. I made $10,000. C. It makes sense to me. Does your office have any openings right now? A. Oops, the window was open. B. The office opens at 7 o'clock. C. No, but we might next month. That restaurant is brand new. A. Yes, it's my favorite brand. B. We should try it sometime soon. C. I knew it would be good. Who's working on revising the graphics? 
A. I'm almost finished editing. B. Not before the end of the month. C. I'm not sure if it's been assigned. Have we received an estimate for the painting work? A. Yes, I'm working hard this week. B. No, they said it will come tomorrow. C. Our estimated arrival is 3 o'clock. Do you dine out often? A. My mom died in 1998. B. No, not very. C. I love to cook. Why is Gina so happy today? A. She's going on vacation tomorrow. B. In order to get a raise. C. It's the best decision. Will you be needing anything else, ma'am? A. No, I didn't. B. Yes, you'll need this. C. Could I get a glass of water? This is the color Miss Lawrence chose, isn't it? A. Sorry, I'll call her tomorrow. B. No, she preferred purple. C. We close at 5. Why didn't you tell us you could play guitar? A. I'm not really very good. B. I hadn't told you, had I? C. The play is in the theater. Isn't shipping your responsibility? A. We shipped it yesterday. B. Yes, I'm in charge of it. C. I'm afraid Tom is irresponsible. Would you rather stay late tonight or come in early tomorrow to finish the project? A. I don't want to be late. B. Yep, the project's finished. C. I'll be in early tomorrow. Well, do you have time to help Miss Cummings, or do you have to go? A. I'm free for a couple more hours. B. It's 2.30. C. I'm coming at 4. Whose picture is next to Marilyn's? A. A pitcher of water. B. That's Joe's. C. It's on the left. Is Brianna back from Baltimore yet? A. She went back on Thursday. B. I'm not sure. C. Sure, I'll have some more. I like their smartphones. A. So do I, but their service isn't very good. B. I didn't want them. C. Yes, he's very smart. How about joining us? A. I enjoyed it very much. B. About three hours. C. Thanks, that'd be great. Where did Frank go to university? A. In 1995. B. Stanford, I believe. C. He got a scholarship. So, Kyle, have you decided whether you're going to apply for the manager's job yet? I'm still trying to make up my mind. On one hand, the extra pay would be nice. But on the other, it's a lot of responsibility. Well, I think you should go for it. You'd be a great manager. Thanks, Leslie. I appreciate that. Have you tried that new Mexican place on the corner? The one that opened a couple of weeks ago? Yes. I went there on Wednesday. It was great. The prices are kind of high, but the food is worth it. I need to treat a client tomorrow. What would you recommend? The enchiladas are heavenly, but if you're on a budget, the taco combination plate is a good deal for the money. Hi, Mr. Simpson. 
This is Janet Sayers with Acme Supplies. We received your order yesterday. We have everything you requested except the welding machine. It's on back order. I'm sorry to hear that. Our current machine keeps breaking down. How soon do you think you'll have it? Within a week. I can ship the rest of your order and when the welder gets here, I'll send it express delivery for no extra charge. Thank you, Janet. That would be super. Could you also call and let me know when it arrives on your end? Yes, I'd like two tickets for the 1215 Express train to Appen, please. I'm sorry, sir, but that train's full. The next Express leaves at 1, or you could catch the local at 1230. The Express takes an hour, and the local takes an hour and a half. I see. What's the price difference between them? The local is $3 cheaper per ticket. Okay, so here's a check for $1,200. That's a $200 damage deposit and $1,000 for first and last month's rent. Is that right? Yes, it is. Thanks. Now, rent is due the first of each month. You can mail me a check or a wire to my bank account. If I receive it after the 10th, there will be a $25 late charge. Do you have any questions? What should I do if something goes wrong? Like if a window breaks or the sink gets clogged. Call me. I'll either come out and fix it myself or I'll call someone to do it. Nancy, how's the inventory going? Have you finished yet? Almost. It should be done by this afternoon. But I need to ask you a couple of questions. We're down to two reams of copy paper. Should I order more or wait until next month? Also, ink prices have been down lately. Should we stock up now while it's cheap? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's buy extra ink for the future. As for the copy paper, I think we can hold off another month. Okay, thank you. I'll have the inventory report on your desk by the end of the day. I can't do it that week. I'll be attending a conference in New York. How about the week of the 16th? Nope, I'll be on vacation. We're going to Hawaii. Oh, that'll be fun. Well, let's try for the week of the 23rd. I have time Monday afternoon and Friday morning. What works best for you? Hmm, just a second. Good afternoon. This is Bronson Books. My name's Andy. How may I help you today? Hi. I'm looking for a reference work. It's called Science and Civilization in Indonesia by Claude Nyland. Do you have it? Hold on a moment, ma'am. I'm checking here on my computer. No, we don't have it in stock. I could order it for you if you like. It will be here in about seven days. Oh, that's okay. Let me check with some other stores first. Then I might get back to you. Hello, David. This is Patty. I've got a problem. I'm here at the warehouse to pick up the new computer chairs, but there's nobody here. The windows are boarded up and the place looks abandoned. That's impossible. Are you sure you're at the right address? 1917 Wharf Drive Southeast? Yes. I'm at one... Oh, wait. I'm at 1719 Wharf Drive, not 1917. So the warehouse must be two blocks south of here. That's okay. I invert numbers sometimes too. So, do you think you can find it from there, or do you need directions? <laughs> Very funny, David. I'll see you in a little while. What's the matter, Sandra? You look beat. It's been a long day. Scott's out sick, so Lena had to cover for him. Our clerical staff has been short-handed since Valerie left, so I've had to help with some of the filing. I haven't gotten much of my own work done, and I've got to have a presentation ready by next week. Sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, do you think you could help me finish these files? Okay, but only if you'll let me treat at Rudy's Bar when we're through. Part 4. You will hear several talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark answer A, B, C, or D. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Hi, I'm Marcy Millen with some do's and don'ts of job interviewing. 
do arrive for your interview five to ten minutes early. It shows that you're eager and punctual. Do wear nice clothes, no jeans, sneakers, or t-shirts. Do comb your hair and brush your teeth. First appearances are important. Don't ask about salary until the end of the interview. Otherwise, they will think you're more interested in money. Don't say anything bad about your previous employer. It sounds like sour grapes. Finally, don't avoid difficult questions. If you don't know the answer or aren't sure, it's better to be honest than to try and pretend. This has been Marcy Millen for Job Talk. See you next week. We're pleased to announce that our company has contracted with Jerry's Gym to offer all employees discounted membership. Beginning next Monday, all company employees, full-time and part-time, can purchase monthly gym passes for only $15. That's half off the regular price. To get your special pass, see Martha in Human Resources or contact her at extension 221. Jerry's Gym is located on Elm Street, just two blocks south of our building. It has weights, basketball and volleyball courts, aerobics classes, saunas, and a swimming pool. Also, to encourage you to exercise, the company will be forming basketball and volleyball teams to compete in a weekend league at Jerry's. If you're interested in playing, sign up with your manager. Hello, this message is for Sven Sendstrom. Sven, this is Audrey Woolridge from Dr. Folk's office. I'm calling to thank you for submitting your bid to provide janitorial services for our office suites. Dr. Folk's thought your bid was reasonable and thinks the quality of your work is very professional. Unfortunately, we've decided to go with another contractor, Gerhard Horstman, whose bid was a little bit lower. Our agreement with them will be for two years. So if you'd like to check back with us at that time, you're more than welcome. In the meantime, we will pass your company's name on to others we might know who are searching for cleaning services. Have a nice day. Seattle is the largest city in the state of Washington. It is located in the northwest corner of the continental United States. Seattle is a long and narrow city bordered by Puget Sound on the west and Lake Washington on the east. There are also mountains to the west and east of the city. One of these, Mount Rainier, is an active volcano. Scientists think there will be an eruption sometime in the near future. A special feature of Seattle is the Pike Place Market, a unique waterfront shop where farmers sell fresh fish, fruit, and vegetables. Other vendors sell arts and crafts, and buskers perform on the street and in open grassy spaces. The Seattle area is home to several well-known companies, including Boeing, Microsoft, Starbucks, and Amazon.com. Seattle's weather is generally mild. Summers are warm, but not too hot, and winters are rainy, but not too cold. You're right. The statistics are pretty scary. Economists predict that our state will lose a million jobs in the next 10 years and that our revenue will continue to plummet. That is why I'm focusing on regional collaborations. For example, our state police are being deployed in partnership with the city police. We have to be able to share resources like that and find other areas where resource sharing makes sense. Another thing we have to do is to retrain workers. I believe it is the government's role to help them prepare for new careers. So, even though the budget is tight, I have proposed to the state legislature that we pay college tuition for people to get degrees in the area of need, like nursing. We have 80,000 vacancies in that field. Even though we have high unemployment, there is a skills gap. Welcome to the Atlantic Science Center. In Building A is our current exhibit, Speed, which will be at the center through August 31st. Building B houses our permanent exhibits, which include all kinds of hands-on machines and experiments that will fascinate scientists young and old. Upstairs in Building C is our state-of-the-art IMAX theater featuring movies on a giant screen. A schedule of showtimes and prices is included in your information packet. 
Next door in Building D, you'll find the center cafeteria with a wide variety of moderately priced food and drinks. Our space area is located between Buildings C and D. The space area has free shows every hour that help you explore the night sky through images projected onto its special domed roof. Led by a professional astronomer, this is something you won't want to miss. In today's business news, June Peterson, president of the Stover Company, has announced she will retire next year. Ms. Peterson served 33 years with Stover and was president for the past 10. Her leadership skills and corporate connections have been credited with building the Stover Company into an international business employing hundreds of people in our region. Although Ms. Peterson is leaving her job as president, she will continue as a consultant for the company under terms of a one-year contract. Stover Company executives say the search for the next president is underway, and they hope to complete the hire within the next six months. Hello, this message is for Audrey Brown. My name is Sam Fisk. I got your name from Dr. Leslie Rogan, and I'm calling because I need a tutor for my second grade son. He's struggling with his reading and math. Dr. Rogan just gave him an assessment and recommends tutoring. She said you might have availability, and I'd like to get him started as soon as possible if we could. We live in the warm beach area. Could you please phone me back as soon as you can? I'd like to know if you do have openings and also more about the teaching methods you use and the rates you charge. My home number is 555-6346 and you can reach me there in the evenings. My work number is 555-0011 extension 22 and my cell is 555-5672. Thank you Audrey and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for coming tonight to the Crossroads Cinema. If you're waiting in line for the 7 p.m. showing of The Prisoner of Zenda, that show is now sold out. If you're in line for the 7.30 p.m. special 3D screening, there are only a few single tickets left. Those of you willing to buy a single ticket, please raise your hands so that one of our ushers can see you and escort you to the front of the line. We are now selling tickets for the 9.30 p.m. regular Zenda showing, as well as the 10 p.m. special 3D screening. You can also buy advanced tickets for future Zenda shows at this time. We apologize for the inconvenience, but we hope to see you back here soon. Remember, you can check showtimes and reserve tickets online at www.crossroads.com. No, I don't think movies are an endangered species. You can't match being in a movie theater with a couple of hundred other people laughing or being scared or being moved to tears. Those are among the most wonderful social experiences we're all able to have with one another. Watching movies at home or online is well and good, but I don't think they are a replacement for going to a theater. I was just in China last month and people were watching movies on their cell phones. They have about 500 million people who have cell phones and the business is growing at the rate of 8 million a month. People want to see great stories and while the movie industry has to adapt to these changes, I think they're opportunities not liabilities. The DVD market is weakening and there will always be a place for movies in our entertainment landscape. This is the end of the listening test. Please continue with the reading test. Part 5. A word or phrase is missing in each of the sentences below.